So should we get stuff in here? Because we need to like, turn it and stuff. We'll get maybe it's neck will just help. We'll just push it in the <laughs> It's really heavy because we've got a flat. Alright, alright, alright. Ready? If worst comes to absolute worst, we Boy. do have a spare little fitness car in the boot of my car. It takes much easier with Steph. I do you want to do you want to drive John or Steph or something? Steph. Oh, okay. What am I doing? Oh, I might crash. I'm a woman driver. Well, yeah, you did struggle with MX5. Wait, does it turn off? Does it drive? No, no. no. the key's in, and you can push it in the on position to turn that. Oh, this is a really high seat. Oh wow. That doesn't smell like oxygen. What do you mean, no, it is? Oh, no, it is. Don't you worry, Steph. If you started worrying, stop it. I'm right. not worrying. Let's do the. I think the thing in the middle controls the actual air going to the suspension truck. So, now pressure on the inside. Yep. So, am I just checking for. No change on this one. That must be the rear. Sorry? Must be the rear. One's already down. Oh, why are there? Let's undo that. <laughs> we just want to stop it pumping back up yeah. once we start taking things off. But we've got no pressure in this. We've got little pressure in this. <laughs> little pressure in that tank and we've drained <laughs> the pressure out of the sacks on the wheels. That sounds empty. That's empty. So, so now we should just be able to crack them loose. Hi everyone and welcome to car number three on our $1,000 to $50,000 challenge. Before we get too far into the time lapse, Please remember to crack that like button like we are trying to get these shocks loose. Every like, comment and sub will really help with growing this tiny channel and help expand to a larger audience. And of course with that comes better content including footage like this where I actually plug in the microphone properly and we have some functioning audio. This is our 2003 Nissan 350 GT Skyline. This episode we're whipping out the air suspension and putting in some factory shocks. This is mainly because the car doesn't have a cert for the airbags, but we're also hoping that the sale of them will help pay back what is owing on the car. The fronts, for the most part, were pretty simple to remove. We were kind of hoping we'd put in the new shocks without having to remove the upper control linkage, as the bolts holding them in did actually get in the way of the springs on the shock, but we managed to work around this problem. Do you remember last week how we were doing the suspension for the 350? Yeah. And the cradle? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. the same problem! It's lame. Mm. Oh, you got it? Now the rears were super easy. Something interesting we found is that with the G35 and Z33 chassis, the springs are independent of the shocks and they actually sit in a little cradle off to the side. There were a couple of what the <laughs> moments, like this, where I'm fairly certain a wheel nut is holding on the shock. Here we have the coil over removed, along with a blanking plate that was on the spring cradle. We didn't realise it at the time, but we needed to source the factory rubber bushings to seat the original springs back in, and that's not included in this plate. With the suspension set up as it currently was, it made removing both units crazy simple, with the only exception being the use of our multi-tool Hayden to professionally and safely transfer weight from his body to the hub to allow for additional travel for ease of installation of the factory shocks. Get, get out of Hayden's way. It'll be looking like, oh, he's got a horse. Why is he standing on a chair? Good 
point. Safety third. Safety third. Why am I standing on a chair with this kind of voice? <laughs> Hey, look, you can afford only some of them. Some We've of got the that small brain energy on the go. No more questions. <laughs> and with the original setup back in, it's time to end this little episode. I didn't film too much on the rears because we didn't have everything from the get go, so those were carried out and completed in the days that followed. But for now, we have a rolling factory hard car ready for its next task. So thank you all so much for watching, and please do let me know what you think of the challenge so far, and if you have any suggestions, voice them out too. So I'll see you all next time where we will be tackling the transmission.